Hello, how's it going? Um, I've got a interesting thing to try today. I have Magic Spoon cereal. It showed up at my local Safeway uh, just the other day. And I've been wanting to try it because I've seen videos on YouTube. Some videos are sponsored by this brand. And so I was like, I want to try that eventually. Um, each box is about seven ounces and yeah, they are expensive. They're, uh, about $10 a box. Um, even on the website, like a pack of four boxes is like $39. If you buy a bundle of six boxes, it's like 55 or 54 so it's like very slightly cheaper, but not by much. But um, I've got the cereal here and I wanted to be really quick because I wanted to uh, hurry up and pour the, I didn't want to pour the milk ahead of time because otherwise it, this might get a little soggy. But, uh, yeah, so I've got the milk in there, and I will be trying this in just a second, but i got to put the milk away real quick. And I needed to get a spoon. So, with that out of the way, time to try this. A few people have complained that there's a not-so-great aftertaste. But, um, I will see. Let's see. This isn't directly chocolate flavored, by the way. It's cocoa flavored, so. It tastes a little bit like kind of a dark chocolate. It's got a little bit of a bitter edge to it. A very tiny little bit. That's, um, it makes it taste like, like a dark chocolate. It's pretty crunchy. I've heard that this stuff um, does stay pretty crunchy for a little bit. Flavor's pretty good. Texture's not bad. Some people have complained that there's kind of a really weird aftertaste with this stuff. I'm not getting that um, too much. I don't, I don't, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I'm not getting too much of a bad aftertaste or anything. Um, everything seems good with this. Honestly, I probably wouldn't mind buying this stuff if it wasn't $10 a box. I 
and I do want to try some of the other flavors eventually. There's a fruity flavor. There's a frosted regular kind of flavor. I've heard there's cookies and cream. There's um, like cinnamon, and maple, and peanut butter, and like all these different flavors. My local Safeway only had this cocoa flavor. And actually, I didn't pay $9.99 for the box because um, there was a little bit of a sale. It was eight forty nine, dollars which is still really spendy for a 7-ounce box of cereal. So you don't want to be paying 8 and a half to 10 bucks like on the regular for just a little bit of cereal that like you can polish off in two servings. I mean... You're supposed to get five servings out of one of these boxes because a serving is like a cup. But me and cereal, like I get two, I get two to three bowls out of a whole box most of the time. So, uh, yeah. Net carbs per serving, 15 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 9 grams of allulose, 4 grams of net carbs equals 4 grams of net carbs. Allulose is a rare sugar found in raisins, figs, and maple syrup. It contains only 10% of the calories of regular sugar. It is only slightly metabolized by your body, so it barely impacts Blood sugar levels, all while having the same familiar taste and texture as regular sugar, monk fruit is native to Southeast Asia and was first cultivated by Buddhist monks in the 13th century. Huh. Anywho, um, yeah. The high-protein, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, wheat-free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown-ups. Magicspoon.com. The only, yeah, so far, the only downside to this cereal, or at least this variety, I think is the price. This doesn't taste bad to me. I don't really see any... I can't discern anything particularly wrong with the cereal itself. Also, people have said that the boxes are extremely flimsy and like tear really super easily. I was able to open mine with like no problem at all. But then again, some of the early reviews that I've seen on YouTube are like at least two years old. So maybe they've improved the quality of the actual packaging between then and now. Because this is the 2023 video and, and some of the reviews are from like 2021 and stuff. So, um, yeah, but all in all... This isn't bad. I just don't want to pay exorbitant prices for it when you can get much more in a box for other cereals that are, like, better priced. For example, I first saw this and I was like, I went to I went to um, see how much it was because the, the price tag wasn't on the um, on the shelf itself where where this was. I took it to the cashier to ring it up just to double check. And yeah, $9.99. And I was like, no, nope, 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 nope. And then the next day I got it anyway because I have to try it. Um, but yeah, instead I got a competing brand, a competitor to Magic Spoon called Three Wishes. And it was also a cocoa chocolate flavored version. You got slightly more in the box. You got 8.4 ounces or 8.3, something like that. 
and um, it was six forty nine. I think it was on sale, but it was still only six forty nine, as opposed to nine ninety nine or eight forty nine. These are, yeah. Anyway, This video is going on 11 minutes already, and um, I'm not going to sit here and finish the rest of this, but you do get the idea. It's a pretty good tasting cereal. Um, I don't see any issues with the quality or taste or anything to do with the cereal itself. The only problem I have with this, as of now... Is that it's expensive as all hell. If you're restricted in price. Um, in terms of like what you can get. Definitely don't get Magic Spoon until you see a really good deal. Um, just get something that's like. There's probably healthier cereals than this too. That'll cost less. Um. You only get seven ounces in a box, so it's like you're not getting much at all. And <clears throat> yeah, um, it's a good cereal, but I don't think any cereal is worth ten bucks or eight and a half. Honestly, six and a half isn't even like very good price for a box of cereal, but. Um, some of the healthier ones due to inflation or skyrocketing like that. Um, really, just like stick with some like of the healthier uh, in-store brands like Safeway Select or whatever Kroger has. Uh, Kroger Safe, uh, Kroger Fred Meyer, Albertsons, um, whatever those are. Um get the healthier stuff like definitely get the healthier stuff but like pay reasonable prices for it um if you like really if you're like me and you just you've seen it and you really want to try it and it turns up the one time it's probably fine um it's a one and done kind of thing i mean i definitely want to try more of these flavors in the future when they turn up but i still i can't justify the price of these things they're good and they're worth one try but don't be buying these on the regular for that much money they it's gonna drain your finances faster than whatever else so yeah i mean it's worth picking up if you want to try it once but aside from that don't bother it's just any other cereal it tastes fine, but it costs way too much. That's what I'm saying. So that's it for now. I will um, see you all later.